Hello everybody, this is Dragonheart and welcome to Total War Rome 2. We are back with my Carthage campaign and things are not going according to plan of course. We have three settlements, Kartuba, Gadira and Tingis. We have the Masai'ili tribe of uh, Africa on our land. I think we defeated them last time actually. Um, but it's not looking good. We have Baitika's Legion here which is suffering attrition. It's because our food is quite bad. We're on minus three food. So I need to build up my food as quickly as I can. Tingis is going to have to be converted as quickly as possible. I could bring in a change to a port. What have we got? We got a wind catcher here. Could convert that. May help us out, may not. Gadira. Need to change the port as well. We're going to need these ports anyway, so it's important to look after the ports. We don't have much money left now this turn. Um, I'm keeping this army, this war elephant, plus these three units here, stationed in Kartuba in case somebody does attack me, because we are at war with pretty much everybody in, in this part of the world. Actually, we're at war with pretty much everybody in this campaign. If I click on Diplomacy, I'm going to actually count how many enemies we have. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten enemies, and not many people like us. Liguria might be a chance of trade with them. Uh, I want trade. I'm gonna actually offer you money. I don't think it'll work. No, it was worth a try though, in case. But anyway, back to the, the important things. And this uh, recording is going to be about an hour long, and I'll probably do what I did last time. And that is split it into two or three parts. So we start off with episode 14. We have Kartuba's finest. We are besieging Migdol. We have war elephants. We have some mercenary Numidian cavalry. We need to take Migdol. It's essential really. I think we could do it though. They have only five units, Children of the Sun. They have a garrison of ten. But some of these are uh, depleted. They also have two raiding Hemiola Libyan javelin men ships. I'm going to act quickly because they have reinforcements on the way as you can see. They're, it looks like they're in raiding stance or double time. I think it's double time actually. So we're going to attack there in a second. Just going to quickly double check everything else. So we did lose, eventually we did lose uh, Caralis over here to Syracuse. Syracuse doing pretty well. They actually hold Cosentia Syracuse, Lilibeam and Caralis. Libya, the backstabbing bastards that they are. Look at all the map they have. In, they have all of what I used to own. Well, they have Lepsis, Macomedes, Lepsis, Carthago. I will reclaim Carthage one day. But as Aragorn says, it is not this day. <laughs> More Lord of the Rings quotes in my videos. I've got to stop doing that. <laughs> anyway, we're going to do this battle. So we have the Battle of Migdol, part two. Can I have any mercenaries before I go in? I can't. F nope, can't record anybody. Record? Recruit. Oh, no fleets either. That's fine, we're going to attack them. Kartuba's finest. 878 plus 313 reinforcing. Ooh, we are up against it, mind, but they are. Uh... Yeah, we're going to fight. I have faith. I do have faith. Our luck needs to change in this campaign. Battle of Migdol. Part two, and I'm recording on a Sunday evening. It's about eight o'clock. I think it's eight o'clock. Well, actually, it's twenty past eight in the evening. And I like to do my recordings on the weekends when I get the most time these days. So that's why I'm kind of uh, scheduling my videos now. So I plan them out for the week ahead. I've already recorded all my Skyrim videos for this week and I've uploaded all of them as well and the same now for ooh, rain we don't want rain we want oh that's bad more rain dry will do that will do nicely okay how are we gonna do this war elephants gonna group these up start the battle straight away group them all up 
my elephants giving a nice little speech there. God bless them. Oh, look at all this, what I like to call bullshit. Big massive pile of units. If I could charge my elephants in there, it would be good night, Irene. I may actually do that. I'm going to actually zoom in a little bit because I don't do an awful lot of zooming into my units in my videos, but it'd be a nice change. Here we go. i got to say, the elephants look a lot better since uh, since the Beasts of War DLC. I know a lot of people don't agree with the DLC. I was quite fortunate because I I actually purchased a... Well, not purchased. I had the Steam cards that you can get on Steam, and that basically allowed me to... Uh, sell them on the trading market on Steam and it gave me some money back in my Steam wallet so I didn't I didn't actually pay full price for the DLC the Beasts of War oh my god look at this <laughs> it's just complete blob it's a blobbing party and we're all invited how are we gonna do this though where's the uh, this is all the units I don't I thought they had more than this unless they're hidden around the street somewhere Anyway, we're going to bring the ships up to here, where, where they're highlighted. I might disembark... Oh, they've disembarked a couple already. Might dis we can disembark three of them anyway here. The rest can provide cover and fire while three disembark. Some of them were dragged away down here. We attack them. It's more or less the same plan as last time in the Battle of Migdol, but I have a vi I'm going to be a bit more careful this time. Because uh, uh, <laughs> the dude commented on my video, the Battle of, uh, of Migdol, and he said, d he was like, dude, you totally... Just threw your units away. You crazy Brits tend to uh, <laughs> throw your units away. It's like, yeah, it's what we do. It's what I do. <laughs> Not much more I can say about that, really, other than yeah, it's what what I kind of do in my campaigns. I'm a little impatient. It's what I. It's what I do. <laughs> but yeah, this time I'm going to try and be a little bit more. Let's get out of there. Going to be a little bit more cautious. <coughs> Ooh, pardon me. And I'm going to try to my best to finally take this city. It's essential to my plans. Right, these two are all going to do that. These are going to be grouped up. The hell? You just bombed your own ship then. My god. Um. Oh, I wish I could like, disembark more ships. I'm going to bring them into the into the other side of this little port here. Might be able to get some range on the troops coming up there. What's this over here? They have Numidian spearmen. Right. Before we engage, cause they're not going to engage me at the moment, so I'm just going to... I'm going to attack them with my missile troops. I'm going to stick the right click on to quick reload. Oh, this is the bullshit. This is where all the bullshit has been hiding. Right. That's, uh, that's fine for the moment. Right, we're going to bring out our bullshit as well. The war elephants are going to go through there eventually, put them on melee. If I could smash my cavalry through, perhaps? I don't know. Should I? Shouldn't I? Thinking about it. Thinking about it. No, just, they got a lot of missile troops. My cavalry would be good against them, but they do have some spearmen, which I'm wary of. Uh, right, they pull back with that unit, and they're wavering. Great, that's what I wanted. Both of these, get in there, charge. I'm going to charge it with the cavalry now. Use them as melee force units. It's a very crap uh, charge. It's not even a charge at all, is it? Let's be honest. Terrible. The beautiful thing about this is that these three troops can now fire from the bay, hopefully, into the rear of these troops. We are wavering, unfortunately. Oh, shit. It's not good. <laughs> okay, that's not good. Uh, the guards are with us. No, they're not. They're not attacking me from there, so I'm just going to bring my elephant to here. Missiles! Get your ass over there quickly. Right click. I can't believe I lost my, my mercenary cavalry. <laughs> oh, shit. They've gone as well. You idiots. Look at them running away. Cowards. Oh, he just took one to the neck. Oh, they're all dead. He's a goner. This guy's a goner. Oh, he's alive for now. Idiot. <laughs> right, we're going to have to think about this logically. Charge. Just get your ass in and charge. 
Mercenary Spearman. I'm saving the War Elephant to the last minute. Because they can change this battle for me, I think. Support ships ready. God, why can't you just get nearer to them? Come on. Attack them from that range. I'm trying to blob them all in. Spear the men, they're ready. There we go. We take out this flank. The war elephants. Just conserving their energy a little bit for now. Oh, there's some movement over here. Could they be attacking me from this flank? They could be, I think. They could be. Aplite is ready. My voice nearly breaking then. <laughs> right, we are nearly in range. Are we firing? I don't think we are, are we? Doesn't say. I hate this because it doesn't. Ah, one of these units is. This one is at least. That's good. Flaming shot. We're going with flaming shot. We're hitting this unit in the rear, which is good. We have the shittest units ever for Carthage. I need to get a few different building types so I can get some different units. We'll bring these guys up. Doing well. Doing pretty well. And of course we have these three units now over here. We're going to form up some kind of mini formation. With my javelins. In the front. I have Gizgo, late Carthaginian hop the He's only got 15 of them though, so I have to use them wisely. But they're going to form up a little flank here. We're going to draw these guys into this little pathway here. The elephant's going to crash in, hopefully. These units, hopefully they can hold up. I don't have many of them left. Hoplites! Get the old phalanx going, peeps. Hopefully we can blob them to death. I need to count how many left. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units left here. They have noble cavalry, which could cause me one or two little issues. Moving fast, right? This is what we wanted. Essentially, this is what we wanted. We're going to take out the cavalry with this unit now. War elephants. Get your asses in there, quick peeps. We're going to go into them in the rear, we are. While we hold them in this bottleneck here. These guys now, it's time for you guys to shine for me. Get forward, get in this pathway here. These three units now. Come on, why aren't they in range for fuck's sake? They have like the worst range ever. Oh, one of these is out, out of ammunition. Shit, we're getting hit, right. Um, oh, right, shit, we're getting hit. Where can we disembark? Oh my god, I have to go all the way up here. It's stupid, why can't we disembark there? Oh, don't question bullshit, don't question bullshit. Right, you should be firing from there. And you can fire from there, which is good. We're holding them up fairly well here. The elephants stop. Shit, 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 shit. Right, time to charge, please. Please, 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 please. You guys, get forward there. We're going to try to divide and conquer now. I'm actually quoting a mob. Mod. Stampede! Inspire. Good luck. Right. We should hold these units up with what we have. Blob, our, blob ourselves in. Oh, look at the elephant. Beautiful, beautiful elephant work there. Missiles, get ready. Balhamun. Oh, the elephant's wrecking them all. I love war elephants in this game. I've lost. Oh, I haven't lost any war elephants. That's good. Yeah, war elephants is a great leveler in this game. Carthage don't have much at the moment, but we have war elephants. Oh, shit. I've lost them. Have I lost the war elephants? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I've lost the war elephants. Fuck's sake. Oh my god. Where are they going? Get your fucking ass over there. Okay, I don't like war elephants anymore. <laughs> they have to control. They've gone berserk. Why are they they're still on some purpose? They're gonna come in at the, my men in the, in the rear. Oh my god. Blob, you hell. That's right, you go over there and sulk. Oh, they're back. Great. Now get your ass back over here. <laughs> Fuck's sake, we got a water win over here. Oh, you guys have. I'm getting ammunition left. Right, get up there. You get over here. Every man counts. Oh, we losing over here. Shit. War cry. Take out that cavalry with these elephants, please. Gotta take them out. Second wind. Activated. 
Full cry. It's going to be nip and tuck all the way this is. Oh yes. Oh elephants. Right, cavalry's done for. Take out these guys, hit these in the rear now. Go on, I believe in my elephants. Unit cam, I think. Come on, war elephants, you can do this. Oh, beautiful. Get in there. Oh, he's down. Right. This is beautiful, guys. This is beautiful. War elephants making the difference straight away. You two are going to be disembarking over there. The cavalry's done for. Oh, we've lost these units over here. That's fine, I think. Let's see, we've got 66. So, you know, we can take them out, I think. Come on, war elephants. I've only got two units left of infantry, my god. Moors arriving, luckily. Oh, look at that. Straight away, route, right, route in. Riot in. Route, route in. That's what I meant. Route in. Getting too excited, guys. Getting way too excited over here. Balhamon gives us strength. Oh, they route in. And they... Oh, we can do this, guys. We're going to do this. All I can say to that is thank fuck. Yeah, we've done it. Excellent. Victory. End battle. It's a costly victory, but it doesn't matter. Up against the... Look at this. They, they deployed more men than me. But we killed more men than them. 574 kills for my war elephants. 100 each. 130 and 100 for my two cavalry units. They played their part well. My my infantry didn't do too well. They weren't meant to, though. Are we going to... We could raise? No, we're going to occupy. Finally, we have taken Migdol. Migdol is ours. Thank you very much. Naval traditions, thank you. Increase in rank. This is all good news. First things first, Migdol, what have we got here? Nobles quarters, fishing port. We need to change that fishing port. We're going to have to do a lot of uh, stuff in the next few turns. Minus 37, minus 28, this is not good, right? We need to do all this. Short per minute for all support ships. Melee attack, skill for top. We got quite a lot of. Missile when we see heavy weapon ships or support ships. We'll go with. Yeah, we'll go with that. Then I'm a general. Kartuba's finest. He can. Morale for all units, gravitas per turn. That wouldn't be bad. Public order. Public order local province wouldn't be bad. Leading fleet. Morale for all units. That'll do. I like having a good morale. And then we'll go with one for authority as well. Migdal is ours, but we're not replenishing at all. And we have two mob and one Libyan hoplites as a garrison force. Oh, it's going to be touch and go. This is we're not replenishing, and we. Mm, interesting, very interesting. We've got these ships come in as well. They could cause us one or two slight issues, I think. But I think we should be all right for. One or two turns. We're bringing in at least our food's got gone up again now. We got plus one food, so maybe we won't be suffering attrition like we are at the moment. We can recruit levy pikemen, which will be beneficial. So I'm going to join two of them. I'm going to try and strengthen Migdal now in the south over here. Meanwhile, my Betiga Legion is in fortified stance here. I'm doing this so they can't actually get through me if they want to go to Migdol or if they want to go to Tingis. Just holding this army up here. I will eventually move inland and try to take Ayol and Dimidi. Hmm. Gidi, oh, are they called? Can't remember what they're called. Gaituli, not Gidi. Gaituli only have two regions left now. Kartadash and Ibosim. Ars, the Grand Republic of Ars. Are we at war with Sesetani? Are we at war with them? Sesetani, where are you? Do I know you? I don't think I know them. Idani's coming up here. I don't know who Sesetani is. Oh, we're at war with everyone around us. This is the biggest problem we have at the moment. Wonder if we can trade with. Where are they? Liguria, now that we have another province. Great things to you. Oops. I'll offer them everything I have. Nope. Fair enough, you bastards. I think we can. I'm going to just double check us. Oh my god, we've got 27%. We are the bastard family. We're not doing very well gravitas wise, are we? 
mind you, is fairly balanced all all over. I don't really care about that kind of stuff at the moment. It's kind of kind of bullshit, to be honest. Um, right, these provinces are doing alright. Gadira is happy. Yeah, we're happy provinces over here. I need to recruit some more units if possible. I can't afford them at the moment. My the problem I got is somebody could just swoop in and take Gadira or Katuba. Katuba has eight citizens though. We should help out. Gadira has eight as well. Decent units in Gadira. So we can live in hope there. Tingis is quite a big fortified city as well, which should hold with the walls. But we got minus th thirty seven plus minus twenty eight next turn. Could cause just one or two slight problems. Although Punic is going up in this province. They're saying it's going to be a rebellion in three turns time. I'm hoping that I can avert the rebellion. But we'll end turn now. And we can see what happens in this end turn phase. And while this is going on, I can have a quick drink from my Vimto can. Ah, that's much better. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this campaign. And once this campaign's out the way, or maybe at the same time as this campaign, I may start a Medieval 2 campaign. Now, I have two campaigns for Medieval 2 in mind. One of them is the Wales campaign, which I've always kind of decided that I would do on YouTube. Kind of makes sense. I, I am Welsh and I love Medieval 2, so that's probably a definite. And I'm probably going to do a Third Age Total War campaign, because just about every other Total War YouTuber does Third Age. I must be the only one that hasn't done one so far. Oh, invasion force lands. Let's see. Trade agreement dissolved. Epirus. I must be defeated. Attrition report. Oh, shit. Plague. Oh, my God. It's all going bad. Right. Faction destroyed. Nazo Mones or Nazo Mines. I don't fucking know. And the Itani. Right. Or Idani or Etani. I fucking know. I don't, I don't know, guys. But anyway, it's, they've taken over. Sestatani have taken over from them, basically. Which is good news, because I don't think I'm at war with the Sesatani, so... No, I don't think I am. Don't know them at all yet, though. But hopefully if I can get on their good side, perhaps I can take Carter, Dash and Ippo Sim, and, and I'll have all of the south and parts of uh, Africa over here. Anyway, I need to double-check everything at the moment, so... Ah, public order's going up now. We have a plus one. So first things first, Migdol. Need to change this. Food is important for me, so I'm gonna go with a fishing port. I need it, you know, I, I do need it. I got an outskirts at the moment as well, which helps. I have, I'm actually replenishing now. I also have two levy pikemen here. So I'm just gonna keep that going for now. I mean, we're on minus 65, but it's gonna go up one a turn, one one percent per turn at the moment. I'm happy to leave that go for a few turns. What's our replenishment rate like though? 37 turns until unit fully replenished. We've got a while then, haven't we? Matter of fact, I could probably merge them, but I'm going to leave them for a few turns. Maybe I'll merge them later on. Migdol's fine. Uh, Tingis. Tingis is... Can we convert any of this stuff? Mm, nope. I can get a port. That will give me some more wealth from maritime commerce. Plus it'll give me my garrison as well. I could do that, but I do need to replen oh, replenish, recruit some units as well. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. I can actually recruit some levy pikemen now, which is essential. I'm going to recruit. I think I'll recruit two of them here in Betika's Legion, because this is my main Legion, which I'm holding them off with at the moment. Uh, Tingis, re replenishing here as well. It's going to take a while to replenish here. Four turns for elephants, not too bad. I think we can take Gate Tuli out. This is the invasion force. Now, do I go two units there? Kadira has a garrison of eight. I'm, okay, I'm happy with that garrison. I could just. No, I can't get any. anything like that. Melkart's justice. I can't reach them with this unit. You know what? I'm gonna let them suffer. They got some kind of disease at the moment. They can't do too much to me, so I think that I'll leave them go. They've only got one unit anyway. They, they can't take they can't take Kartuba or Gadira. Leave them there. Just gently ignore them. Um, I'm trying to think.